fault. Okay, so this is a follow-up from the base. I played this at my daughter's wedding. I think it was okay. Um, I enjoyed it. They seemed to, at least. Um, I've got the battery box. The go to, let me see the number. BBO4. BBO4. And it comes with the box itself, which is a certain depth. I'll check that in a minute. And some little screws. I'll put the little screws up there next to the uh, potentiometers that I used earlier. And obviously this is going to lift up. At one point I've got to put the battery cover on the other side. I mean, they don't normally put it on the front of the base. That would be unusual, but I suppose kind of dumb, yeah? And my what I've seen Schnifter do is to... A sniffer, rather. I keep calling him Snifter. It's Sniffer. Snifter is a British term of endearment. Anyway, um, down the middle here, he normally puts it in the middle. So I guess he'd swap it over. He'd beautifully measure up, etc., it would go somewhere there. I have a feeling what I'm going to do, oh, it's here, look. I'm going to stick it somewhere this side here, in this gap here. Because I think that's going to look right, to, or feel right to me. Also, it means I've only got a little distance to drill into from the cavity side. So, I'll just pause it and undo all the electronics. Okay, hang on a minute. Okay, so we've got the black lead going on to the spade connector. I think that's what they call it, onto the power or onto the jack into the negative and then the red connector coming off this bus bar. Now, what we could do is when we put it in, we could snip this and then solder, put some heat shrink. That's probably the easiest way. Although I do have some of these little connectors somewhere, which means I could probably make a, a longer wire. I mean, the wire that comes with the box was fairly big um you know that's quite a long piece of cable there so if this goes like relatively speaking under there somewhere it would probably reach and i could probably strip that i've got in a box somewhere one of these connectors so i could probably put that on and i do have a dupont connecting system somewhere which is what goes in here so i i might try to exit hang on a second yeah it's a single so there's the battery lead there. So it might be possible to put a DuPont in there. I'll have to check that out. Uh, but if not, snip those wires, bit of heat shrink, uh, solder. Um, that should be enough, yeah? Okay, I'm going to work out roughly where I want to put this. Because, you see, I'm going to have to drill a hole. I mean, there's already a hole there going towards the pickup cavity. And there is a hole here going towards the bridge. Um... So if I was really smart, which I'm not by the way, if I was really smart, I'd look at this thing going in here towards the bridge and I'd say, look, there's a line along here. Maybe I put it underneath so that I automatically get the hole for free. And that would be, that'd be too smart, but it's, yeah, that's okay. It's only a little way down. So somewhere along there is about there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bit of tape on there and that will get me some idea of a line. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, before I get too into this, I had to put a new battery in my vernier, but the distance there is just about 33 mil roughly. Now, obviously, when I open that distance there, it's the same as the jaw distance. So it's tight. I mean, from that angle back, it is deep enough to fit the battery box, but there's not a lot of space behind the back of it. So it's just, I don't know, just coming up to the last, about six mil or so. So it's going to be quite thin near the front. So as I sort of um, make this cavity, I've got to be careful not to go too far down. You know, like sometimes you get bits, um, fours and the bits, whatever, that have a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They have a spiky part in it to help them drill more. Well, they take up a bit of space. So if you think, you know, I'll set the depth on the drill manually, you'll end up probably going straight for the other side of the guitar, which could be a bit dumb. Um, so I've got to be careful about that. Um, or I might put something a little bit on this side just to fatten it up a little bit. Uh, I can make that decision. But let's get on with it. I think, yeah, I've marked this line here. So this is roughly where the bridge hole is in there the bridge grounding hole and i think if i just use let's have a look at this distance here 
no that's not far enough so it needs to be a bit further than that I mean maybe just look for something about the right size basically yeah. it seems to be that ironically yeah the battery holder itself thickness of the lip seems to be about the right distance to get it out of the way of there um, because obviously it can't protrude into the cavity so along that line to about there where the end, ed, edge of the battery box is probably enough which means somewhere about there let's mark that look bit my fingers painted somewhere about there-ish sort of thing let's just check that should be um out of the way of the control cavity so i think that's probably where i'm going to put it okay so we've routed this far we're currently uh, we need to get to that depth in the end but don't forget that depth there's this bit of plastic as well so at the moment we're about there i'm going to see it from that angle better so what i'm going to do is set this to be that bit deeper i come outside because it's noisy and it's quieter to do it out here so i'll just set that depth a little bit more go down a bit and then i can know that i'm not yet past the um, point of no return and that's going in okay there at the minute so that's what i do let's go do that next if you recall we put this bit of tape across here because i said that's pretty much where the bridge was going and look we hit it there so that's really handy i don't have to drill that out now so i love it when a bit of math comes together um, templates got a little bit nicked there maybe what I probably should have done was to cut a wooden one first but that's okay I can deal with this I've only got to cut a couple of battery boxes and there's enough limit there so I just got to check the height now see how that's going okay, so as predicted it's that little bit not in the right hole at the minute because of the uh, the perspex so now we've got to take that little bit extra off but we can now choose this whole height and check it so let's get on with that bit. and i think this guide here which has been cut with the perspex should be enough for the ball race to roll along it so that's what i'm going to do okay so i braided the wires i mean you don't need to do that for dc but it does help to reject noise coming through this side now is the other end if i pull that gently flip that around just pull that all the way through hang on a second <coughs> because that's all the way through that's it that fits yeah can you see let me get it from this angle sorry yeah that fits so if you don't pull the wire through there's a danger that you think you haven't gone deep enough and it's just a wire in the way then you'll go through the other side so now that is in a reasonable line i'm not unhappy with that it's coming through let me turn it around it's carefully it's coming through here into the cavity so now I've got to wire it into this thing and then the battery's coming through that way and that should go in nicely and we're job done. So I used some of the ideas of Sniffer Customs because he's a super cool dude. Sorry Sniffer, I butchered the guitar. I'm not a professional like you, but um, you give me the confidence to try a bit more. So yeah, that'll go through. I'll wire that in and compare that and then that should go in and I have a beautiful EMG five string bass, fretless, really nice sound, clean it up a bit. Um, and it all went pretty easily uh, let me give you a second to see what damage I did to the template so not bad there's a little bit of a nick under there I think just up there a little bit of a nick there um, this was with these ball race these sorts of things yeah and actually I was quite surprised the small cut that you can see it down there I'll zoom in that one did it all so I just gradually went down by depth each time and as I go by depth I'm following the hole I've already made with the race or the bearing rather some people say it gets hot and it melts it well oh, it's a bit rainy here in Berkshire but that didn't do it it just worked yeah I did it slowly um, took my time because I'm not that fast and I'll wire that in okay thanks for watching and I'll summarize what I did in a minute okay so I had a crimp set like I said so I crimped on I haven't got black I use blue what I did because I knew the wire was thin I I looped it around like that and then crimped it and then I put a DuPont connector there I'm about to put the outer sleeve on it here and that should then go in 
as the red connector and then basically that's connected it together so that's the way I think I'm, I'm going to try it. Okay so the last thing to do I put the connectors and like I said I used the spade connector to make my own battery holder. I used a red one in the end, the blue one was a little bit too wobbly. I'm not happy about that because the red now means black and all right, I'm colour blind, but I think anyone looking inside should see a black wire going onto a connector, that should be it. Then I used the crimper, the DuPont tool to make my own battery connector for the red. And I've got these Taze knobs, T-A-I-S-S, -S, which I've covered in another video, and they fit these um, EMGs really nice. You just need to tighten, uh, slacken off the grub screw, and then you see we're all off, so nothing's coming out. Then we can turn up the the tone. Let's turn up the back pickup. We've got that going through there, and let's do the same with the front pickup. So there we are. So take it down a second and put it on. I don't know if it's quite in tune yet. I think it's. Okay, so let's just turn it up, volume, uh, tone down, front pickup up. Let's just take a rest. So underneath the fluorescent lights there's no shielding stop the strings quiet yeah you can hear my computer in the background making more noise um, normally this bass when i first got it was making so much noise just from the ambient room the, the fluorescent so let's go for the back pickup and that's that's another thing that's important you see here i just had the front pickup on the neck so that's quiet but you notice I've just got the front pickup on. On a jazz bass, normally you need both pickups equally the same. So let's turn the other one up. Now, okay, let's put the tone up because it's a bit of a cheat. We know normally the tone down. I think you'd agree that's pretty quiet. And the orange amp is just down here. That's working nicely. The the battery is now on the back. Uh, so, sorry, let me put it into view. The battery holder is now on the back of the guitar. There, maybe you can just see it. Um, it is oriented. The go I didn't know this at first, but the go to B04. I don't think you can put the battery in the wrong way. I tried it, and it doesn't look like it will work the wrong way. So it's all nicely in there. I don't really care if it's lined up because I don't see it behind my big belly. But it just seems to allow me. So I've got the power of the EMG, I can just power it on and off when I want, um, rear pickups, so it's really nice. So again, at the wedding I had no choice to put it in, you see it's flat now, the control cavity is flat because there's no battery in the way, the battery's at the back. So I really recommend this, my woodwork skills are not brilliant, they're not terrible, take your time, um, follow some sniffer customs he does it better than me mine's a bit gash but i take the billy sheenan approach i really like these little knobs they're good fun yeah that's all off isn't it and yeah okay uh over and out and thank you for watching bye